Trying to give us an update. Uh, it's just about daybreak right now, so we've got about another 10 hours or so ahead of us, and uh, yeah, it should be interesting. Finally under full sail. Engine's completely off. Peace and quiet. And just like that. Made it. We actually made it. <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly, look at where the anchorage is. The most beautiful water. Look at that water. So clear. Crystal clear. So we're all ready to, to dive in. Go and check on the anchor. Make sure we're in we're in good standing order for the night and uh, might as well have a swim as well. Anchoring in the Bahamas. An epic end to the day. 
We got some pretty ominous clouds. We're gonna sail away from them. And now we're just apart in that beautiful anchorage that we have. So we should have some good sailing weather today. Looking forward to it. Weather just changes always, so you can make a plan, but it's not not really going to be a plan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're doing our best trying to figure it out.
So there's Zidden Sail for opposite side, over to Hockman K, and then a little bit further south. So, under full sail, which feels amazing. Um, the general is pretty much fully out. Um, pretty much fully out, and Maria's at the helm. And we're just gonna shoot across here, and then we'll probably end up having to do some motoring when we get to the other side, because it's a narrow path, but uh, it should be exciting if it goes up. Beautiful day for it. today yeah yeah we did it under sail and uh, minimized our amount of engine time it was really nice wind as well and then we just got back from a dive so uh, that was awesome we came out empty-handed no you, <laughs> well Nick got a conk we got a conk he, like last minute was diving on the anchor and there was a, a sizable conk that's right I forgot about that <laughs> it happened only minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just at the end, tried two spots, one with our friend um, in the cut with heavy current. Yeah, crazy. There was crazy actually cut. quite a few fish in there. There was quite a few trigger fish that I think could have been yep. shot, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, and oh. then tried over here too, but mm. no, nothing. And, um, and then went to go dive on the anchor and make sure it was looking good, and there was a conch. Yep. So then he came back and I was unloading the dinghy and starting to clean up. And he had just gotten on the swim deck when maybe a five foot shark just, just swam straight right past. By, <laughs> swam right by the boat. Yeah, probably heard me kicking. <laughs> so, so well, all over good day. All over good day. Cheers. Cheers. His buns are tight, but his lures are loose, ladies. <laughs> Thank you.
A nice healthy sea stage in front of us as well. Perfect for the dinghy. This has become eventful. But it's still kind of beautiful. out there trying to catch <laughs> catch rainwater for our rice later tonight in the middle of the lightning storm. That stuff that Gail and Julia had us put on there was like a charm. No drippage. If only we could catch diesel this way. <laughs> That'd be so, something be really wrong with the atmosphere. <laughs> We've been catching diesel from the sky. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. We could use some diesel right now. <laughs> Another day. Another five hours looking at weather. Yeah, it's, it's been pretty horrific. We've wasted so much time today looking at weather and contemplating, do we stay, do we go? If we go, where do we go? Um, we've kind of got ourselves a bit boxed in here as well, based on tide as well, so. I don't think we quite expected that we would be uh, spending this much time Fretting over weather. Yeah. Um, Trying to decide what to do with our um, every hour, every day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Glued to glued to our um, electronic devices, just simply out of weather. So. Yeah. But the wind's supposed to be 20 knots higher. Yeah. And. Over double. Over double, and we were feeling it with the wind that we were getting. Yeah. So we've got lightning and thunder coming. Once again. Once again. Maria's uh, stress cleaning. <laughs> but the boat looks fantastic. So this is, this is the front that's coming our way. Um, the weather systems are going to hound this area. So we're really just waiting on that tide to come in um, so that we can make a move, pull up anchor and and make our way out over the, the shoaling sand. So hopefully in about an hour. That thunder's directly overhead. So yeah, hopefully in about a, an hour we'll be we'll be able to um, pull anchor and make a move. It was intimidating, incredibly intimidating. We had water come over the bow. We had to drive up on the on the anchor. Uh, the rock man helped. So we're out of here.